नेक्स्ट सूत्र थर्टी थर्ड वस्तु सच्चिदानंद मध्वयम ब्रह्म अज्ञानादि सकल जड़ समूह अवस्तु वस्तु सच्चिदानंद नंदम अद्वयम ब्रह्म सच्चिदानंदम अद्वयम ब्रह्म the absolute existence what we call in english the sat chit ananda its existence consciousness bliss absolute absolute existence absolute consciousness absolute bliss ananda sat chit ananda so सच्चिदानंदम अद्वयम देर आर नॉट टू इट्स वन रियालिटी देर इज नथिंग एल्स अदर दैन दैट इट्स ओशन ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस ओशन मीन्स यू शुड वॉमिट द स्पेस एंड टेक एक्सिस्टेंस ओलोन एक्सिस्टेंस विदाउट स्पेस एंड टाइम टाइम इज नॉट देर Space is not there. Space and time appears as the relative existence in which we live, and that is what is covering the Brahman, the absolute. So, what is that Brahman? Vastu, vastu is the ocean of existence, pure existence, without any object, without any material object, without any contents, without time and space. There is no time. There is no space, only existence. It is eternal. Eternal means don't think of the time. Timeless, eternal, spaceless infinity. It's very difficult to conceive, and it is impossible to conceive. Mind can conceive whatever is there within the limits of time and space. So whatever you think of as Brahman is only actually Ishvara. You are saying through time and space, the highest reading by the mind of the absolute is Ishvara. Beyond that, you cannot think. That's why in Kena Upanishad, he clearly mentions, "Nedam yadidam upasate." What you do a upasana as Brahman is not Brahman. Brahman cannot be conceived by mind. Vang manati ta. यतो वाचो निवर्तन्ते अप्राप्य मनसास माइंड गोस टू सी द स्पीच एट द परापशंति लेवल आल्सो द स्पीच कैन नॉट डिपिक्ट इट योर थॉट्स कैन नॉट डिपिक्ट इट यू यू आर थिंकिंग योर माइंड कैन नॉट रीच इट ट्राइंग टू कॉजिटेट कॉजिटेट Go on meditating; it cannot reach. You cannot understand anything within the creation. Any object can be understood, conceived. Now, electromagnetic waves. Now, in the space around me, in and through me, millions and millions mobile waves are passing in, in my body itself. millions not one or two mobile sir mobile waves are passing tv waves military signals all are passing through my body my around me it's filled with that but i can't see my senses none of the my senses can perceive eyes cannot see ears cannot hear nose cannot smell tongue cannot taste touch cannot depict nothing can no senses can perceive it but my mind can understand it my intellect can understand but that one cannot be understood by intellect also neither senses nor mind nor intellect then how to know you have to go beyond that you have to transcend all the aspects of nature and go beyond so there it is sat existence how do you define existence that which is not affected by time ah uh, trikala 
abadita it is not affected by time that is past present and future is not there there is neither present nor past nor future there is no time at all uh, anything that comes within time cannot be existence it is beyond time consciousness chit sat existence chit consciousness consciousness i am conscious that's why my mind is working my body is working everything is working because i am conscious this consciousness is just manifested consciousness what is real consciousness my just a reflection of consciousness in my mind activated by consciousness itself is able to see understand act and react everything it can do just a reflection of consciousness in the mind and buddhi it can what is consciousness itself it is all pervading and beyond and before you can think it understands your you are you are thinking it doesn't need because it is beyond time it's already existing huh. now you are you are pervading you are conscious and you are pervading the whole body with consciousness you are conscious of every bit of your body suppose a mosquito comes and sits on you you are here immediately you know it's some mosquito has come and sit has sat on my ear it doesn't take time because you are already there slowly your mind will go there and see whether mosquito is sitting or not uh, nothing you are pervading this body every point anything happening anywhere you immediately know like that you don't need time to know slowly today mosquito said tomorrow i will come to know there was a mosquito yesterday <laughs> because the information has to go through the post courier nothing like that the sense of touch will send signals and it will reach it is instantly instantly you will know because you are pervading it you are there every point of it the consciousness is so the consciousness in which time and space is also not there every bit is conscious its consciousness is boiling there consciousness is pervading it every point it's conscious it is conscious it is consciousness because object is there it is not a quality it is existence itself i am consciousness i am conscious i am conscious of the world the conscious being conscious is in a there is a i and i am consciousness it is a quality because it's manifested consciousness but actual consciousness it's reflection of consciousness but actual consciousness is ever aware of everything aware of its own being without object there is no object there is no second it's fully conscious and it's bliss ananda existence the existence bliss consciousness absolute these are not the qualities of his object now mango is sweet sweetness is a quality object is there its quality is there it can be something else also here there is no object and its quality object itself is consciousness there is sat is not a quality of the brahman it exists it is indicator only it indicates there is something know it know it know it that's all 
know it. Uh, it cannot be, through words it cannot be made to know because you have not seen it earlier. It can be, cannot be compared with anything because what all you knew, knew, know is just a speck in the infinite existence. Knowing a speck, you cannot know the infinite. So, it cannot be combined. By no means it can be made to understand. But it's just a sign is shown. It is Satchidananda. Sat is, yeah, there is existence. It is negating. It may not be there. Because I can't see. Because mind can, people say it can, mind cannot understand. Intellect cannot understand. Senses cannot understand. You cannot understand. There is nothing else that you... What is the, what is the, what does it mean? <laughs> does it mean it exists? If it exists, I must know it, we think. Because it exists, you can't know it. Exactly opposite to science. You cannot know it, because it is existence itself. Hmm. We, what it, it is, whatever you, think it exists is other than you. There is, it is not other than you. There is no knower, known and the knowledge. Triputi is not there. There is one object. So these are indicators to deny that you may think that it doesn't exist. The existence, the existence is told. And if it exists also, is it something like inert it has no understanding or anything. No, it's consciousness. Huh. It exists like air, cannot be seen. It's something like, a, it is existing like an inert object. No, it's consciousness. It is not conscious, it's consciousness itself. That's why it's your consciousness. And is it consciousness like a, you see in a dog or a cat? No. It's absolute. Here it's a reflection. It's absolute. So, even if it is there, is it something like, uh, uh, simply there is no ananda, there is no dukkha, there is just like deep sleep, there is no sukha, there is no dukkha, something like that, or a coma state. No. It is ananda. And this ananda, cannot be compared with the worldly ananda. That's why he says absolute. Absolute existence, this is relative existence. That is absolute existence. Absolute consciousness. Absolute bliss. Bliss absolute. So, this absolute is added. Satyachita ananda. In English, we have to add existence, consciousness, bliss absolute. Satyachita ananda. This Satchidananda uh, is an indicator only. Just like uh, you want to go to uh, Udupi, you see a board, Udupi. That's all. This is not Udupi at a board. Neither the board is Udupi, nor uh, the. It's showing, an, it's an indicator. It is there, it indicates. Danger mark to bones and one skull. It is an indicator of danger, sign. Like that, it is indicator. Hmm. Indicator need not be actual. Cannot where cannot be actual. Yesterday, uncle asked, uh, "Sastang pranam." Somebody has written in a piece of paper, Sashtang Pranam. You think this such a huge body, Sashtang Pranam, how did they do in this small piece of paper? <laughs> it is indicator. It is not actual. Otherwise, Sashtang Pranam cannot be done on this much paper piece. <laughs> so, it is an indicator. So you have to understand what is indicated. What's, it cannot be conceived. You have to strive, strive, strive to transcend, transcend, transcend and go beyond. 
what all covers you have, one by one you have to. This soup, that's why he is explaining a superimposition. You are covered, remove the cover. Snake has appeared to be there in the place of rope. Remove that snake what you are seeing. It's just a covering, it's a superimposition. Remove and you see the reality. So to indicate there is a reality, the word Satchidananda. And what is it? It's Brahma. Brahma is the word Brahma means infinite, eternal. Brahma, Brahat, vast. The vastness is without space. When we say vast, immediately space comes into our existence. Drop that space and just that existence. That vastness without material space in that vastness. Eternal, without time. The moment we say eternal, we bring time into factor and that too the time is linear to infinite. No, there is no time at all. It is eternal without time. Uh, so that is that Satchidananda, Brahma. Brahma word itself is Brahat. And what is Brahat? Infinite. Time, space just appears and disappears in that existence. The time, space bound we are in that time-space bound existence, this universe. We have to go beyond it to know the reality. Because we are inside a capsule, the capsule is covering me and I cannot see the outside. The time and space bound, whole creation is in which I am existing. The vast Brahman, the pure Ananda Swarupa is outside. And what is covering is my own intellect. And I have to remove the coverings that nature has put upon me. Hmm. Ajnanadi sakala jada samuha avastu. Vastu means satchidananda advayam. There is no two. One existence, absolute existence. Brahma. Agnana di sakala jada samuha avastu. Agnana. Huh. I do not know that is agnana. When a snake is seen in the place of row, he immediately gets frightened. He is shivering out of fear. He is falling, getting up, running away. Shouting, snake, snake is shouting and running away. All these are the consequences of the ignorance. He is ignorant of the rope. The rope ignorance has created all the, the it has created a snake, it has made him to shout, it has created the sound also, his shouting sound, and then his running away action also it has created. All these are jada samoha. When including the snake, all that subsequent what happened is jada samoha. Agnana, it began with agnana. There is one absolute existence. Ananda Swarupa. All that has disappeared. And only one that superimposition. If that is gone, the absolute existence remains. So, this snake and afterwards what all happened, the superimposition, the agnana that has covered the reality by which we are seeing a world here, exactly like in dream, when the waking state is covered, immediately their projects, mind projects a world. The reality is covered and the mind projects a world. In that dream, there is nothing. 
there is no object it is just a mentations the covering over the waking state has created this world of dream wonderful world of dream sun moon heat cold all same as it is you can see there this creation of the dream world is because i am not aware of the waking state if i am aware of the waking state if i perceive it if i understand the waking state immediately this dream disappears there won't be dream world dream world never existed which i was seeing experiencing never existed i would know only when i exposed to the waking state the moment waking state comes there is no more dream like that the moment we the whole dream world is because of my ignorance of the waking state ignorance and all this jada samuha like that the ignorance of brahman has created this world ignorance of the waking state creates a dream the ignorance of the brahman creates this world now we have to transcend this world again and enter into the absolute just like we wake up to the world giving up the dream we have to give up the stream of the world and wake up to the reality that is called illumination that is called brahma gnana atma gnana brahman and atman are one and the same subjective ultimate if you go inside 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 transcend annamaya pranamaya manomaya vijnanamaya anandamaya and then you see your infinite eternal existence the brahman similarly transcend one by one objectively then you will see one by one you are transcending and ultimately you will reach the same brahman the objective ultimate is brahman subjective ultimate is also brahman we call it atman and brahman the thing is when you are in a house go behind behind and from the back door come out and see the same infinite space you go forward 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 from the front door you go out and see the same infinite space so objective ultimate and subjective ultimate is the brahman and what covers by covering it the cover itself agnana the agnana is covering the reality agnana of the waking state is cover, creating the dream world that agnana adi sakala vastu there also agnana adi sakala vastu all things beginning with the agnana what all we are seeing this world time space bound things so many bodies plants trees stars and space so 14 lokas which we are unaware only one loka we are living and a part of insignificant part of it is perceivable through our senses beyond senses mind physical existence is infinite at such 14 planes of existence all this is avastu is unsubstantial it's created by not knowing god not knowing brahman not knowing my real self this is what the 33rd sutra says vastu sachidanandam brahma agnana ji sakala jad samuha avastu all else is avastu we are in avastu our body is avastu our mind is avastu our intellect is avastu our senses are avastu our karma vasana pain sukha dukha everything is avastu which doesn't have an existence unreal the real and the unreal real is the substance vastu and this unreal is just a superimposition on the real when you know your real self you will know that you are never born you never suffer you never vivekananda says this when you get realization you see that you are ne- you are never there god alone was there 
all was dream. Nothing existed. So, this is the the two sutras we have done. We have entered the new chapter, superimposition, and we have completed the two sutras. Om Tachayora Vrani Mahe Gatui Yagnaya Gatui Yagnapatae Devi is Vastiras Tunaha Svastir Manu Shebhyaha Urdhvanji Gatu Bheshajam Shannu Astu Dvipade Shanchatushpade Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu